What does he see? He says he sees two gentlemen were standing outside side by side with machine guns. So two soldiers or he calls them men at this point, but we know they're two soldiers with machine guns. Side by side, okay? Machine guns represent power and impact. If I were to use a knife in a knife attack with Robin, I, I would have to be in close vicinity with her. So if I were to take a knife on you and use it, I would need to be within your inner circle. Mm -hmm. I would have to be somewhere in close relationship with you. Mm -hmm. If I were to use a gun, I don't have to be in close relationship you know, especially if I was using a sniper rifle. Right. But in this case, he's, they're using a machine gun, which, and they're not using it, it's you more of a protection it. mode. Right. So machine guns represent great amount of power. Because he doesn't say, you know, a Colt, or he doesn't say, you know, like a little handgun, he doesn't say a shotgun, he doesn't, specifically says a machine gun. And we know from, you know, especially, I know from living out of the country that machine guns out of the country are used a lot in militia. Right. They, they use those machine guns when, I, and I don't know why, they could just use a gun, it'd still scare me. They don't have to use the machine gun, right. but, but that's their mode. So it's kind of like a militia. But he wasn't scared. Right. He wasn't upset. It was almost commonplace. We, read, we can read and think, you know, he didn't run, people weren't running. It wasn't anything like that, and I think that's key to to being you know to point out and you know let me point out something here which you talk about often is that um you know dreams are also going to reflect things in your culture mm -hmm. like for, if, if he we know by his name he's probably not american and if he if we were an american and we had that dream with machine guns right it would be scary because that's not something we right. would typically see in our right. culture so it would mean something a little bit different in his culture to see that because that's not something we would typically see. Right, so I remember when I lived in Honduras when I would see people outside of McDonald's with uh, machine guns and machetes. <laughs> that was not your typical McDonald's. I mean, in the US, we sat down next to Ronald McDonald on a bench, right? <laughs> and called it a day. Yeah. And so when I moved there, I thought, oh my, this surprises me. And so it would take on a whole nother meaning to me if, you, if I was at a McDonald's and saw a machine gun here. Right. Or even in my dreams, if I saw a machine gun, I think <clears throat> army, military. Right. And there, it's just a form of protection. And maybe the police. The police have, right. you know, depending on what, uh, right. where it is. You know, and I would think negative. Because right. in the U.S., unless you're in hunting, right. and I'm on a hunting ground with you, if I see a gun anywhere outside of hunting, I'm, it's going to kind of freak me out, right? And then we have here, we've got some recognition. Someone recognizes him. Someone recognizes him. And they said, there's the one we're looking for. I ran quickly, I quickly ran to them and they gave me a delivery note. Now I love that. I'm just guessing that if someone was holding a machine gun, I wouldn't run to them. I don't know about <laughs> you, but what? that would not be my first thought. But he did, so again, we see that as a cultural understanding. So he runs too, so they must have not been very scary. There was no fear here, right? right. He just knew that's, that he was being called out. He was being called out and there what he ran to them he ran to them and that's and then they handed him something for his signature mm -hmm. so what does a signature represent signature can represent a level of authority mm -hmm. right so he had to sign for it right he had to put his signature down he had to he had to to go and he had to sign for that it's also in a uh, delivery it's a sign of acceptance right so you're agreeing Beautiful. to accept this, right. uh, what's being given to you. Right. And so they say, I have something for you. And he says, great, I will, I will take, take it. it. Right. That's good. Who wouldn't take it? That's right, because it's a trolley full of loose diamonds. <laughs>